Okay, we're on our way to go test out the new update to the Potensic Atom 2 drone. I think the update was last week, and I'm just getting around to testing it out. So it's good to see Potensic still updating their drones and putting some good features into them. So in this update, Potensic added Cine Roll, which is basically a feature that a $2,000 drone from DJI has. So it's kind of cool that a budget drone has something like that now too. They also added some camera settings, which I'm not super excited about, but we'll see what they are and see if they're good or not. And if you guys want to see more drone videos, whether it's on DJI or Potensic, uh, let me know in the comments and leave a like on the video because it would really help me out a lot. So after coming back from testing out the new update, I have some mixed opinions. Before I get into my thoughts, if you guys want to check out the original videos and the reviews of the Atom 1 and the Atom 2, I'll have both those videos linked in the description. Also, while you're there, don't forget to leave a like and comment what features you would like to see Potensic add to their drones. So I've been a pretty big fan of Potensic drones. They're a nice little budget drone that will definitely get you hooked into drone flying. This update is kind of cool. At least one of the features is. A few months ago, DJI released the Mavic 4 Pro, and it had a feature where it would physically rotate its camera, giving you cinematic rotating video. But the Mavic 4 Pro cost over $2,000. Well, now your $350 drone can do it too. Kinda. So obviously the Atom 2 doesn't have the ability to rotate its camera or rotate the drone mid-flight. So it uses its 4K camera and crops it to 1080p and internally edits the video to rotate it. Even though it's 1080p, it still looks totally fine. Like it looks pretty good on your social media and videos. Now that was the only good feature in this update, at least in my opinion. I was really looking forward to being able to take pictures while recording a video at the same time, but it was really hard to do. I was thinking I was going to be able to use these triggers, but that doesn't work. You have to press the button on the screen, so while you're trying to fly, you have to kind of contort your hand to be able to press it. The quality of the pictures look fine to my untrained eye, and I can't really see any issues with them. As for sphere panoramic pictures, again, it's kind of cool, but I don't think I would ever personally use it or ever show anybody the pictures it takes. Like they're kind of interesting, but I just don't see a use for having a panoramic picture when I can show them a really cool drone flying around and showing the same thing. You would have to save the photos to your Potensic app, and that's how you can view them after.
and now on to the video updates. Potensic added a definition and a saturation slider to your videos and photos. The definition slider looks like it sharpens the video a little bit and the saturation obviously makes the colors pop a lot more. I'd personally never suggest using these sliders because it's much easier just editing the video and photos in post. And that's pretty much the update. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Do you already own the Atom 2 or are you thinking of picking one up? I'll have affiliate links to the Atom 1 and the Atom 2 if you guys want to pick one up because they are really good budget drones. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.